BGP router ID in NXOS. In this video, I am going to talk about how BGP selects the router ID in the NXOS. Okay, let's start. BGP router ID selected as with different rules as with the, for example, in compare of the iOS and iOS XR in NXOS. Okay, in NXOS, BGP selects the IP address of the lowest number loopback interface first. Assume that we have two loopback, loopback 0 and loopback 1 in uh, switch 1, okay? Because the loopback 0's number is less than the loopback 1, okay? The IP address of the loopback 0 should be selected as the BGP router ID. If you have the, uh, for example, loopback interface but if you don't have loopback interface in the switch bgp uses the ip address of the lowest non-loopback for example serial interface or ethernet interface for the rotor id and also you can configure the rotor id with the rotor id command let me to show you how bgp selects the rotor id first in NX OS 1, let me to check show IP interface brief. As you can see here, we have ETH 11 with the IP address of the 10121. Okay. And also NX OS 2, show IP interface brief. We have ETH 11 with the IP address of 10122. And we have connectivity between these two devices 10122. Okay. We have connectivity. Then I'm going to configure two loopback interface in the, uh, for example, router in the switch one, conf D, interface loopback zero, IP address is 10, 10, 10, 10, slash 32, and also interface loopback one's IP address is IP address quad five, slash 32, that's it. Let me to check, show IP interface brief. As you can see, we have two new loopback interface, and the first loopback interface is loopback zero. The second is loopback one. Now I'm do I'm going to configure BGP here. Conf T, for example, rotor. We should enable uh, first the feature BGP. First feature BGP. Now we can configure the BGP rotor BGP sixty five thousand. Okay, and uh, assume that we should enable the address family, for example, IPv4 unicast. Also, if you want, you can configure the neighbor, neighbor 10122, okay? And then remove AS65001. That's it, it's sufficient for us. Now, I'm going to check the router ID. Show BGP IPv4 unicast summary, for example. Show BGP IPv4 after some second. We uh, should check the IPv4 unicast summary. Show BGP IPv4 unicast summary. BGP summary information for VRF default. Let me to check. Show run of the BGP uh, uh, BGP configuration. Router BGP 65000. Address family IPv4 unicast. The neighbor is 10122. And remote AS 65001. Let me to configure also uh, NXOS2. Conf T here we should enable for this neighbor in the switch one the address family rotor bgp 65000 for the neighbor 10122 please enable the address family ipv4 unicast that's it then show bgp ipv4 unicast summary okay now as you can see we have the rotor id rotor id now is selected as quad 10 why look at here when you configure two loopback, the IP address of the loopback zero is high is higher, and the IP address of the loopback one is less than the loopback zero. But the IP address is not important. The loopback number is important. The lowest uh, number is is preferred. First, the loopback is preferred, and between loopbacks, the lowest number of loopbacks is preferred, and the IP address does not important. This is the first rule. Okay, as you can see, the router ID selected with the loopback zero's IP address. Let's go to NXOS2. In NXOS2, I am going to configure again BGP feature 
BGP. In, 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 the, in the switch two, we don't have the loopback interfaces. Show IP interface brief. As you can see, we don't have loopback interface. Then router BGP, uh, for example, 65001. Address family IP v4 unicast. Okay. And then the neighbor 10121 remote AS. Remote AS is 65000. Okay. Then address family IP v4 unicast. Let me to check. Show BGP IPv4 Unicast. Look at here. Show BGP IPv4 Unicast summary. Okay. Shows us that the router ID now is selected with the non loopback interface. And now we know the rules. The first rule is if you have loopback interface, the IP address of the lowest number loopback interface is selected as a uh, for example, router ID. And also, if you don't have loopback interface, the IP address of the uh, lowest number non loopback interface should be selected as the router ID. And also, if you want, you can configure the uh, router ID, such as other IOSs. For example, in switch one, I'm using router BGP 65000 and then router ID, router ID quad one. This is different with the command we used. In the iOS and iOS XR, because in the iOS and iOS XR we use BGP router ID, not router ID. But in NXOS we are using the router ID quad one. Okay, show BGP IPv4 unicast summary. Okay, now BGP router identifier is quad one, so easy. Don't forget the neighborship should be teared down and again the, automatically the neighborship is cleared and then again the neighborship is, uh, is established. In OX in NXOS2 or uh, Switch2, we can configure the router BGP 65001, BGP or, or router ID is quad 2. Okay, let me check. Show BGP IPv4 Unicast. As Unicast summary, as you can see, the router ID now is quad 2. And now we know the rules. The first priority is the administrator configuration. The second priority is the lowest number lookback zeros IP address. And the third priority is the, for example, lowest number non loopback interfaces IP address. Don't forget the best practice is configuring the BGP router ID statically or uh, manually with the router ID command. Okay, that's it. This is the method that NXOS uses to select the BGP router ID and this is different with the iOS and also iOS XR.